Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Eileen and I'm so happy to have you here to start this new week with me. Got a little bit of the Sunday scaries, but we have a bunch of packages to unbox. It honestly felt like Christmas when I got home, so that'll be fun to just unbox it with you guys. So this first package is from Glemnetic. They sent over a few of their nails. This is Sunset Orange, Cherry Glaze, Oslo, and then we have Santorini. Not exactly sure what this is, but I feel like it's something I purchased for my upcoming trip to Malaysia for my friend's wedding, which is actually happening next month. I'll do a try on haul probably tomorrow just so you guys can actually see because there's a lot of packaging in this, but just so you can get a sneak peek, this is actually the dress that I bought to wear for the wedding. And everything I got is from Commence. I actually really love my experience with this brand so far. I feel like the things I've purchased from them so far have been really high quality. They've lasted me a pretty long time. It looks really put together and exactly what it is on the website. So I hope that the things that I got are going to be just like what I see on the website. Next is another thing I purchased from Amazon. I got this makeup pouch by Bagsmart. It's supposed to be a really spacious makeup bag. This is what it looks like inside. It has two pockets in here. Then we have another pouch in the front. Opens up like that. And then there's two other pockets in here as well. I got this because I thought it'd be a really great bag to just put a bunch of like my makeup essentials for when I'm traveling because when I travel right now, I just have this pretty clear like makeup bag, but I feel like it doesn't fit as much as I really want to. So I thought having this would be easier to just carry around. This is a PR package from Estee. I'll also do a try on haul in another clip, but it's just a sneak peek of one of the things I got. Ujuk sent over some stuff. We have their toothbrush, which I actually haven't used to brush my Invisalign. We have some bath salts from Resalts, which I think this whole package is their collaboration. Shampoo bar, their floss, and their peppermint and pine toothpaste. I actually really do like their toothpaste and the packaging is really sleek. It's like the, it's like that really pretty hand cream packaging, but instead of hand cream, it's toothpaste. Armani Beauty also sent over some goodies. I think it's really cute that they package it with the shopping bag. So they sent over their Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation, their multi-purpose glow concealer, and two of their glow enhancers. You have the shade 2 and 11. Let's open up and see what shade 11 is actually because I'm very curious. So this is shade 11. I feel like the shade is very close to blush shades that I pretty much wear during the summertime, so excited to try that. Now I have this giant package down here. I wanted to get a pajama set because I don't really have proper pajamas, especially for the summertime. And I saw this cherry one and I thought it was absolutely adorable, so I got it. This is what the set looks like. It's so cute with the cherries. I got compression socks for when I have to go on the plane. I got prunes. This is supposed to give you a lot of fiber, so it helps you go. And it's individually wrapped, so I think it would be great to just bring on travel. I got this brand of matcha. I heard it's supposed to be really good quality matcha. I've seen videos about this on TikTok. The color is absolutely gorgeous, what matcha should actually look like. I'm excited to taste this. This is a baby tea that I really wanted to get. It has peaches on it. The shirt is also from Amazon, just from a different seller this one's a little bit bigger than this one but this is more stretchy very different and thicker material too so i feel like this will fit i think these are cups i got this like ripple kind of glass i thought it would be really cute to shoot with whenever i want to make any matcha or drink content fun but still elegant looking i thought these came with a straw though but i guess i ordered the ones without the straw i found the straws <laughs> here we go and that's pretty much everything. Thank you so much to the brands that sent me products. I am truly extremely grateful that I get to receive anything. I'm excited to try them. I really wish I had like a smaller sifter so I could properly make the matcha because there are some bits. But overall, the taste is really great. The color, I think, is absolutely perfect. I'm also very much enjoying this cup. Today's fit, I am wearing the little peach baby tee. It does fit very well. It's not too small. It's like the perfect fitted baby tee. Like the length of the tee and then 
as you can see it's more fitted on the arms and just more fitted in general but it's not so restricting or anything and for the jewelry today i'm just wearing the charm necklace and charm bracelet because it's such a big statement i don't really feel like i should layer it until i find another piece that i think would look good with this but because there's just already so much going on here i just kept on my everyday necklace here and then also just a very simple ring stack today as well i'm just wearing this wave ring from third tone beaded ring from monica vinader ring trio from shop soko and then this thick gold band from 20 compass i also decided to try on one of the pieces that estir sent me because i was really afraid that the jeans that i got were going to be too small like when i held it up it really didn't have a lot of stretch it also just just looked really small but then i put it on and these are actually the most perfect straight leg oversized jeans that i have ever put on like these jeans i feel like are going to be my new go-to is a little bit long which was what i was anticipating because most pants are already super long on me anyway definitely gonna have to go hem these at some point but i feel like just for the sake of when i have to make the video for them i'll just keep it as is because i have to wear with the shoes anyway so i'll just see how that looks and then once i have that i'll properly go Get it hemmed. I just wrapped up work and I thought now would be a good time to do a try on haul from the pieces that we got yesterday. This is a dress I got. You've probably seen it before if you're really big on Pinterest because this dress actually went pretty viral. I think it's also viral on TikTok. It's a strapless dress and it has a beautiful like I think a lily flower going down the dress which I think is just really cute. I think it matches my friend's wedding thing very well. You guys, this fits perfectly. I'm actually shocked at myself at how good I am with sizing lately. I feel like the size I got is a really good, comfortable, properly fitted. But I feel like I could size down because the top right here is elastic, but if I size down, then zipping this up would definitely be a little bit harder. This is what the dress looks like entirely. I'm not sure if I should get it hemmed because if I wear heels, the nice proper length, you know what I mean? And the most important thing is it's gonna be really easy to pack. Try on this one. This is what the top looks like on. The top itself is pretty cute. It is a lot more fitted, but I think it's good because I feel like if it was any bigger, the neckline would be too big. I also put on the denim shorts that I ordered, but honestly, I really feel like it looks ill-fitting. It's just a very awkward fit around my thighs, and then it's pretty tight on my waist. It's not like super tight where like I can't breathe or anything, but I just feel like overall like doesn't look that great on me this top took me an unbelievably large amount of time to figure out how to put on that i actually gave up and went to go eat dinner and i figured it out now but i can't zip it up because i can't reach but just imagine that it's fully zipped it does fit it's really great around here too which is what i was really hoping for because i was really afraid it was going to be too low i'm pairing it with these shorts that i also got and these actually fit very well so i'm very happy with that it's also a very nice light material so it's going to be really great for the rest of the summertime and also leaning into the early months of fall and then this is the last thing i bought from commence it actually is a skirt it has this detail on one of the shorts which i think is very interesting but i think it's supposed to align with like the front wrap now we're trying on the pieces from estir this is the first top that we're trying on we have a puff shoulder sleeve situation here but it's not super puffy which i actually really like and this collar which you can actually adjust to make a high collar you can basically adjust how you want to style it based off of how you want to button the shirt as you can see there are a lot of buttons here that i don't really want to button right now since we're just trying on but you can see the vision here and then just like i showed you guys before the jeans that they also sent over next we have this pretty oversized breezy shirt that i also noticed has a slit on the sleeve which i'm not exactly sure how i feel about it i feel like it's a little strange but can't really tell anyway from the front what's really cool is that it has this like side belt detail that you can actually adjust and cinch the shirt even more but it's just a really cool layered shirt that i think makes for a great conversation starter and just as an interesting statement piece and then the last piece of this try on haul is this shirt which you can't really see the texture it has wave detailing and it's really soft the material i feel like i definitely could have sized down just so it's a little bit more fitted and maybe not as long but i feel like if i also size down then it might not fit well on my arms but other than that i'm super happy with everything and i'm super excited to style them
everyone we're finally at the end of the work week i thought we could do our morning skincare together and show you the products that i use so i actually don't wash my face in the morning instead i use a toner and put it on a toner pad because i wash my face at night i don't want to strip my skin barrier from washing my face too much because in the past i used to wash my face morning and night and i feel like my skin just felt a lot thinner back then but ever since switching to this kind of regimen i feel like my skin has gotten a lot better i don't know if you can see it on the toner pad but just by me using this like it already wiped away off all the grease from overnight next i go in with the caudalie instant firming serum and as you can tell it's been very well loved i'm practically out of it i just massage this into my skin i like to do some facial massages as well to help waken up my face i like to do facial massages while i do my skincare because i also think it helps with water drainage because i get puffy very easily and i think just by doing some simple massages, it helps to reduce that puffiness. I think it also helps enhance my features a lot more. For moisturizer, I'm using the Rich Cream from Caudalie. This is actually a pretty thick cream, but you really don't need that much. And then when you apply it onto the skin, it feels pretty lightweight. And usually I wouldn't go for these in the summer because I have oily to combination skin in the summertime. But I feel like this has helped my skin a lot and it just feels very nourishing. And then the last step of my routine is sunscreen. I'm using this one from Summer Fridays. I actually used to not like this sunscreen because i tried it a few years ago and when i put it on it just felt really grainy it didn't feel nice on my skin but when i hung out with brandy and alice one day i asked brandy if i could use her sunscreen because i forgot to put some on and it was going to be a really sunny day and she had this one and when i put it on it felt really nice really creamy it didn't give a white cast at all so i decided to get it and give it another go and i actually really like it skincare routine is very simple i don't really like to use too many products since i have really sensitive skin but sometimes simple is best we got a package from mason margella for their newest replica fragrance it's called afternoon delight God, look how cute! Afternoon Delight is a tribute to those moments of joy and self-indulgence, capturing the essence of savoring a warm and sweet pastry in a Parisian cafe. It has notes of vanilla, madeleine accord, and a sandalwood that gives its fragrance a cozy warmth with a soft, comforting finish. Oh my god, that smells so good. This really makes me want a sweet treat right now. So I actually had to look for an apple pie for this project and I thought I wouldn't be able to find like maybe a little slice of pie because I'm just one person, I really do not need a whole apple pie. I hope I can find something that's like small enough and they actually had this really small apple pie. Like this is perfect for one person. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this into the oven just to let it toast a little more because I want a little bit more brown, you know, make it look more crispy. That is so cute. 